Number 1. Basilique Saint Cernan. Completed in 1100s, the Unico listed Saint Cernan Basilica may be the largest Romanesque church in Europe. There's also a large number of relics in the crypt, more than in any other church in France, and many were donated by Charlemagne to the abbey which stood on this site in the 800s. Outside, the five-story brick tower is unmistakable, and as you look up you can see where construction was stopped in the 1100s and restarted in the 1300s from the shape of the arches. Number 2. Capital Square. It doesn't matter if you're shopping, sightseeing, or painting the town red, during your break in Toulouse you'll always be drawn back to the square in front of the city hall. The city seems to gravitate towards this place, and the majestic pink-tinted palace in front of you is older than it looks. There are fragments going back to the 1100s, and if you walk around to the rear of the Capitole you can see the building's Renaissance dungeon. Number 3. Toulouse Museum. Not a museum about Toulouse, but France's largest ethnological and natural history institution outside Paris, the Museum de Toulouse presents more than 2.5 million exhibits. If you have a thing for natural science you could immerse yourself in botanical, entomological, mineralogical, ornithological, paleontological and many other logical galleries for hours. Many of these collections were gathered by the most inquisitive minds of the 19th century. Number 4. Fundacion Benberg. This mansion was designed by Nicolas Bachelier, Toulouse's most prestigious Renaissance architect, and took almost 30 years to complete. It was built for Pierre d'Assayat, who built his fortune on the woad trade, but was penniless by the time his plush palace was completed in 15e1. The art gallery within is just as magnificent, and is founded on the collection of Georges Bemberg, a prodigious 20th century art patron. Number 5. St. Raymond Museum. As is often the case, the museum building warrants your attention. Erected in 1523, it was a school for poorer students at the University of Toulouse. The entire ground floor is taken up by the finds made at Villa Kirigan southwest of Toulouse, with an astonishing set of Roman busts of emperors and their families, but also representing many more personalities from Roman Gaul that are yet to be identified. Number 6. Church of the Jacobins. This Jacobin convent is the last word in southern French Gothic design. It was finished in the 1300s and is noted for its awesome dimensions, with a double nave and vaults that reach almost 30 meters. The best bit is at the apse, where you can feast your eyes on the palm tree, a column culminating with 22 ribs that curve outwards to form the vault. The relics of Thomas Aquinas, one of the great thinkers of the medieval period, are also found in this church. Number 7. Space City. If there was ever a day out that could recapture your childlike sense of wonder, it's a theme park all about space exploration. If you or your little ones are fascinated by the cosmos then you could devote a day to watching mind-expanding IMAX movies and planetarium shows. Space travel geeks might hyperventilate when they set foot inside the actual Mir space station, which orbited the Earth from 1986 to 2001. There's also a life-size replica of the European Ariane 5 rocket, which has completed more than 70 successful missions since 2003. Number 8. Augustinian Museum. Picking up from the Musée Saint-Raymond, this attraction covers art and sculpture from the medieval period up to the early 20th century. Once again, the building is an important ingredient, dating to the early 1300s and exemplifying the Southern Gothic style. The medieval religious sculpture in this museum is superb and was rescued from convents and churches that were being destroyed around the region in the 1800s. Number 9. Japanese Garden. In Campan Caffarelli, some way north of the center, is a park classified as a French Jardin Remarkable. It's a Japanese garden, which is rather unusual given Toulouse's southern latitude, and is inspired by the gardens of Kyoto from between the 14th and 16th centuries. The garden is full of symbolism, and about as conducive to meditation and rest as it gets, but it helps if you visit early when there are fewer people around. Cross the bridge over the pond to the island representing paradise, and look down at the koi and turtles. Number 10. Canal du Midi. Another UNESCO site the Canal du Midi is not just another waterway, but a mind-boggling work of 17th century engineering, part of the 430-kilometer Canal des du Mers that linked the Mediterranean with the Atlantic. It was ordered by Louis XIV and made by the genius Pierre-Paul Riquet, taking 15 years to complete. 
Walk or ride on the towpath next to its green waters or check out the old blocks on a cruise. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.